guys welcome back to my channel happy new year for the first video of 2020 i have my december favorites now i wasn't going to do them because i am going to be doing my yearly roundup of all my favorites of the year but there's new products that i feel like i've just been using them for a month and i feel i don't feel too comfortable about including them in my year favorites mm -hmm. So with that being said, I decided to do my December favorites because if I stuck to doing a favorite every month of 2019, it was only right to finish off with my 12th month. So first and foremost, I want to thank you guys for all the support you guys have given me in 2019. I appreciate it so, so much. That is probably the highlight of my year because 2019 was a very rough year for me. I know I didn't share and I don't really share a lot of my personal stuff online because you know it's just personal and all I can say is that it was a really really rough year lost a lot of people that were in my life um and you know at this point it is what it is 2019 for me has been the hardest year and I'm glad it's over like so so glad it's over and I'm so excited so happy for the new year I've never been the type of person to be like new year new me you know or ex I, I really feel like I haven't been excited for any new years like you know the normal like you know it's a new year cool but this year I was I had a different mindset I was excited to go into the new year to leave all the crap of 2019 in the past where it belongs and you know look forward to working hard this year working my butt off to accomplish my goals and that's what I'm ready for that's what I'm excited for that's the mindset I have now which is something that has taken me time to get here but I'm so glad I'm here now and anyways with all that enough babbling thank you guys for your support mainly uh, I appreciate it and I'm I'm going hard this year because it's it's time to really focus on myself, focus on my goals, focus on what I want to do in my life, what makes me happy, and this truly makes me happy. So, <laughs> I say enough ramble and I keep rambling. Anyways, let's get started with the products. Let's start off with a primer that I went back to using because I ran out of my silk canvas from Tatcha which I do love that, um, but you guys know how much I love it. <laughs> I went back to my Benefit. Now, I started using this again, and I really, really like it. I mean, it's a primer that I've liked for years, but I did stop using it, and when I started using it again, I was like, oh my gosh, like, why did I even stop? Like, this fills in my pores like no other product, with the exception of the Tatcha, because that one fills my pores in really nicely as well, but this one just gives me such a smooth, sleek, silky, like canvas um, before I apply my foundation and I really really like that but in particular I've been combining it with this product from Farsali which is their liquid glass radiance make make skin serum with hyaluronic acid and honestly I always thought these these specific products were like not that great or like they didn't really work or they didn't do much but this one this one in particular, I already want to buy a full size. This came in one of the sets that I got from Sephora. And I'm so glad I got to try it because it is really good. And it actually does something for my skin and for me. Um, I apply this all over my skin after my moisturizer. And then I apply this in my T-zone and this area where I have my biggest problem area for my pores and then this product gets a little tacky not too crazy not too intense it just gets a little tacky and I feel like that helps for when I apply my foundation so I can really lock it in and stick to my skin and it just gives my foundation such a flawless look like any foundation but I've been recently going back to my old foundations which are favorites too. Um, first and foremost I went back to using my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation and it literally looks like I haven't used it at all which I remember using this a lot. I really really like it and I've been trying to go through my my stuff and declutter and use up products because you know if I buy them I have to use them up I don't want them to stay there and just go bad and if I know they're products that I 
I'm not going to use. I have been giving them away to family and my friends. So yeah, this is in the shade M10 and I really, really like it. It's a perfect foundation that has full coverage, but it's not too intensely full coverage. So if I'm filming every day, this is a good foundation for me to use. Um, it looks good on camera. It looks good in person and I personally like it and it's not too expensive, you know. It's a drugstore price compared to my other foundations that I'm like, okay, I don't want to use this every day, like my $40 foundations. So that's what I've been using. But today I am wearing like this combo. So these two and this one, the Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay Foundation. And I really, really like it. I forgot how much I love this foundation. It was just sitting in my drawer. And this one I am almost out on. So that brings so much joy to my heart. This one is in the shade 128 Warm Nude. And I feel like it's the perfect shade for me. It is just everything perfection. Also notice that with this product, since it does have hyaluronic acid, which is hydrating for the skin, my matte foundations don't look super flat and dry or cakey. So that's a huge, huge plus. I've even been thinking of when I, I'm going to apply my foundation, putting a little drops, a little bit of <laughs> I can't talk, a few drops in my super full coverage foundations. So they won't be like so flat and matte. And I feel like that's going to make them look even nicer on the skin. A concealer I stuck to using a lot besides like other favorites that I've been using for the past few months is this Boing Concealer from Benefit and it's their new Cakeless Concealer. This one came out around like when school was starting last year. I think it was around like September, August maybe September and it was like the back to school packaging you know it looked like a little pencil and it has an eraser I love the packaging this is in the shade number four and I really really like how it brightens my under eyes but it doesn't make it look stark white underneath and it's also full coverage but lightweight I don't know how they do that like it feels so light on your under eyes and it doesn't look like you applied so much concealer which personally I am really liking the less concealer look under my eyes and this is a product that doesn't look like I caked it on so much but it still like brightens it still covers it's just it's beautiful and I do want to share that it does not have that super fat uh, concealer wand that all the concealers after Tarte Shape Tape started coming out with. This is a much longer doe foot applicator though and it's pointy at the end which I personally like that but it's not like super fat and chunky like the other wands from all every other concealer after Tarte Shape Tape. The next product is a setting powder and this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This stuff, I love it. I finished it up, but I just, I was like, I don't want to spend the money on the full size. So I decided to get the smaller size. And if I do repurchase it, I am going to buy it in this size because I just can't bring myself to spend so much on the powder. I'll buy anything else, but the powder just seems like it's so expensive. And I use powder all over my face. Like I powder my entire face. That's just the look I like. That's just how I like to set my makeup. So I was starting to use this only for special occasions because I was like, you know what? I use too much powder. Um, so definitely we'll be repurchasing it in this size because I just can't bring myself to, to buy the other one. Now, the only palette that I was really, really into for the month of December and the month of November is Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1. This palette is everything. I used a different palette today on my eyes because I was like, okay, I need to give it a break and use my other new palettes. But this one, oh, it's just everything. I love, 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 love the glitters in this palette. I can literally use the glitters every day when I do my makeup and I'm fine with it because I love them so, so much. I combine this with my other palettes. I use this on its own. This is my everyday palette. If I have a party, if I, anything, New Year's, Christmas, Thanksgiving, this was the palette on my eyes because it's just so, so bomb. I love it so, so much. I can't wait to see what else she comes out with because I, I'm already ready for her next palette. Like the formula in this, in this palette is bomb. And I honestly didn't expect any less from her, uh, makeup brand. Now a highlighter palette that I have been loving is this one from Pixi and this is when they did their collaboration with influencers. This was Rach Love's collaboration and this is a 
balm it has highlighter palette if you're in the if you're looking for a good highlighter palette or good highlighters pixie i have told you guys they have amazing highlighters they're glowy gossamer duos those amazing this amazing all their highlighters are just amazing i use the three these two big ones and this one the most or like what i combined today do you guys see that glow definitely i mean you can wear it you can do a little more subtle Highlighter, I like to look like I'm a glazed donut, which there's nothing wrong with. 2020 glazed donut all year long. Um, and this is such an amazing palette. Like, I recommend this one so, so much. Especially for all the highlighters you get, the amount of product. It's not too cheap from the drugstore, but it's also not crazy expensive like other highlighter palettes that are high-end. And this, the formula, is honestly high-end for me. Another palette that I really, really liked in the month of December is the Real Her Ultimate Glow Getter Palette. It's their Cheek Trio. This is a new product from them. And I actually, ugh, I love the packaging. It's like marbled all over. Super cute. And then it has a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. Um, I would say the bronzer is a little warm for me. I do use it, but I use very little. I would definitely use this more in the summer when, you know, we start getting a little more color. But the blush and the highlighter have been oh, my go-to. They're absolutely beautiful. I told you guys, your highlighters, the formula is amazing. And this is like a, to me, it looks like a blush that has a little bit of sheen. And since it's, it's like a peach blush it just looks so so pretty and I really like that I like blushes that have more of a sheen because blushes that are matte I feel like just don't really look that nice on my skin even when I have this popping ass highlighter I still want a blush that has a little glow in it as well another blush that I really really miss and I used the month of December was Milani Berry Amore Amore I used to say Berry Amore now if you're looking for a really good blush but you don't want to spend so much these are are amazing from the drugstore and I recommend them so so much this color specifically is my absolute favorite and this is their baked collection their baked blushes I personally really really like baked blushes this one and the hourglass baked blushes I really really like those this formula is amazing but of course if you don't want to spend that much on a blush these I would say are very comparable to the hourglass I know people don't come for me in the comments but that's just my opinion. <laughs> a single highlighter that I used and I have been using since November. I even bought another color because I loved it so, so much. Is a Physician's Formula Rosé All Day Highlighters. This is in the color Freshly Picked and I did buy another color. But this, I mean, you guys can see the indentation I've done on the little rose um, of, what is it called? The impression? The impression? The impression? Whatever, the little rose detail in there, I have like wiped down this bottom part from how much I use it. This is a perfect gold glow. It's not too yellow. It's not too dark. It's just so beautiful, so gorgeous. 100% recommend these. And you guys definitely need to check these out because they're really, really good. And they're from the drugstore. They are not that like cheap, but they're also not incredibly, incredibly pricey. I recommend these 100%. I have a few skincare products that I've been loving. So the first and the most important one is this Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. <laughs> it's like a moisturizer, literally. It's a moisturizer. And this stuff, I finished it up. This came in our boxy looks in September, and I completely finished it in December. The end of December is like when I completely finished it this is probably one of my favorite moisturizers that I have tried all year and the hydration it gave my skin incredible this made my skin feel so good so plump just so hydrated and I loved it so so much it's a moisturizer that doesn't make my skin look more greasy or too oily this just is the perfect 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 amount of hydration and remember in 2019 no 2018 I had the whole like dry patch around this area I did not get that this year and I think I told you guys like maybe in November or October that I still hadn't got that and I was knocking out all the fake wood I have right here in front of me Ikea fake wood and I just I didn't get that dry 
like crusty patches on this area. I kind of started to and as soon as I popped this on, no more. It was gone. No more. Another product that I really, really liked is the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. And this is a small size that I got and I have another one a, a little bit bigger. But once I finish that one, because I finished this up too, I'm going to definitely invest in the full size because it is a cleanser that I feel like cleans my skin which, without, which out, <laughs> without stripping it too much. And that's the best kind of cleanser for my skin because I feel like when it gets too stripped, my skin feels stiff and super dry right after I dry my face. And that does not happen with this cleanser, which is something that I can appreciate because then I feel like that's why my skin was getting like dry around this area and this cleanser is just amazing it smells delicious it's so gentle i honestly thought that it wasn't working that well because it wasn't bubbling or foaming up but it doesn't need to foam up for it to be working because it is very gentle love it another moisturizer oh i almost dropped it that i tried is the kiehl's ultra facial cream this is 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula That's a mouthful. For healthy looking skin with glacial gly uh, glycoprotein. I hope that's how you pronounce it. But I got this little, uh, I think this was for like 100 points with a Sephora order. This stuff is good. It reminds me a lot of this one. So I really, really like that. Now this one is pricey. Definitely it's, it's already on my list to rebuy it. To repurchase it. <laughs> I've never said rebuy it. Repurchase it. But I want to see if this one's a little cheaper because I felt like they're very similar and it's that hydration that's uh, fresh and it's not like too thick and heavy. I don't like those type of moisturizers. These are the ones that I like. So yeah, if this one's a little cheaper, I might give this one like give it a try on the full size and then I'll get the title one. The Sunday Riley one for sure is holy grail like moisturizer that I tried in 2019. And I think lastly, I have three lip products. Now, first and foremost, I have this one that I did get in my BoxyCharm. This is a Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I had always wanted to try these, but I always heard mixed reviews, so I kind of just stayed in the middle, not bought them, not tried them. Um, but now that I tried them, Oh my gosh, I love the formula. It's such a good formula, at least for me, my experience with it, and I've used it. Guys, this is the type of color you guys know that I use all the time. It's like that uh, mauve nude, deep nude, because I'm not a like light nude type of wearer unless it's like with gloss. But yeah, love the formula. This is the color Suck It. What a name. But yeah, I definitely want to try more colors. I want to try the deep colors. Yeah. Next, we have these that I have been obsessed. Obsessed. I get an understatement. This is a Ludacris Lip Gloss from Milani. It's their new glosses. They already have a line of glosses. They have the plumping glosses. Those are good. I like them. But this is like top-notch glosses. I love these I don't think I can I can speak enough about them they're so so good they remind me so much of the Fenty gloss bombs those are really good they're some of my favorites and these remind me so much of them like the formula how lightweight it is and it's not too thick it's not too sticky but it's very glossy and pretty on the lips and long lasting I love these I recommend them if you're looking for good glosses or dupes for the Fenty these are definitely it, and they're probably less than half the cost of the Fenty. So I recommend these for sure. And that's basically it for my favorites of the month of December. I wasn't going to do them, but we had to end the year right because we also ended the year with no uh, disappointments, which is amazing. I always tell you guys that in my favorites, like it's not that I want to have disappointments every month. You know, when I don't have disappointments, I'm happy because it, it means that all the products that I bought and that I was trying, they work nicely, they work good, you know, and that's what's most important. So yeah, let me know what was your favorite product of December in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. I truly appreciate you guys. I'm ready for this year. I'm ready to kick ass. And yeah, let's make it a good one. Thank you again so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.